Hey, welcome back to the vlog. Right now we're taking a quick little peek at this happy couple. These two have been together since early November and there's been more locks than I could, uh, could even remember. Uh, we just haven't had an ovulation yet from her. She's got really good body weight. I've been kind of giving her food, pulling him um, now and again to give him food and you know giving him a few days off to kind of rest and build up his reserves again. Um, but so far, no ovulation. Um, he's a 2018 Motley, and he's a fire. So that's the heterozygous super fire, which is the white leucistic boa. And she is the sister of my visual VPI, so she is a hypo jungle het VPI. So the best we're going to get out of this breeding is some, um, you know, some fires, some more fires like him. Fires tend to have a certain look about them. If you kind of look at him, he's very different. He just has kind of a, there's something in their eyes and just the overall coloration is just very different from what you would see in a typical Motley. It's the best way I can describe it. It's been described to me. Um, so even though it is a, a heterozygous trait, the, uh, the white leucistic boa, it's very easy for somebody with experience and knows what to look for to be able to look at a baby and say, yep, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a fire, uh, which is what this guy is here. I, for one, don't have that eye yet, so I'm going to be, if I do get babies, I'm going to rely on some good friends that do have that experience to hopefully uh, let me know what to look for, you know, and, and which ones are which, but... I don't know, they've been, they've been breeding on and off since early November and just no ovulation yet. And here it is, February the, what is it, the 23rd? So, yeah, nothing. <clears throat> so, I'll keep them together a little while longer and, and start putting more food again into the girl. Um, he ate a couple days ago. Let's see, she ate... Let me think, wait, oops, when did she eat? Everybody ate on uh, the 19th. Yeah, so she, she, um, she ate on the 19th. And he did as well, so I just put him back in. So anyway, we'll, uh, oops, my finger's in the way there. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, if anything at all. But all you can do is try to get him in the best position, you know, physical uh, condition, rather, and put him together and just see what happens. But... There's been multiple, 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 you know, copulations and locks between these two. So I'm super surprised that I haven't seen anything. She's got really, really good body weight too. So no obvious reason why this girl wouldn't, uh, wouldn't go ahead and just produce a bunch of big follicles and ovulate for us. So that's nature for you. I'm just going to have to wait and see. All right, well, I'll keep you updated on this one. We, uh, all I can do is cross my fingers. A couple of good looking snakes though, huh? Very good looking. I've always, always liked jungles and of course the hypo jungles. The fact that she's a uh, het VPI is even better, so. I'd like to make some VPI sun glows. Would be really nice. Sun Glow Jungles, VPI Sun Glow Jungle, <laughs> Sun Glow, VPI Sun Glow Jungles. Say that five times fast. I just need a mail with the, with those genetics. So, all right. Uh, have a good night. Thanks a lot for uh, for checking in.